All right, so this is, I'm gonna show you how we're actually going to start carving our lino cut. First, this lino cut or the linoleum is actually pretty tough, um, very hard. So we're gonna take a heat gun, which looks like this, and we're actually going to um, just blow some heat on this to actually soften that material. Now I'm gonna do this for you in class and it'll probably take a minute or two um, before it gets soft enough to carve. And I just wanted to show you what this is gonna look like. So the carving tools that we're using have a handle and then you can change out the type of um, carving tip that you put in there. So I've got a tray of a bunch of different um, options and they're all labeled. Make sure that we always put them back in the same spot after we use them. Um, each tip is actually labeled, so I have that um, label on the box. I'll try and show you what the label looks like, if we can get the light to shine on it. You can kind of see that number five right here. In person, they are much easier to read, I promise. Um, but just make sure that they go in the same spot. This one is a Speedball brand. There are some other brands like uh, SD, just make sure it goes in the right spot. So then you have your handle inside. Once you loosen it, when you loosen it, there's going to be, you'll be able to see kind of that corkscrew right there. So this is tight, this is loosened. Inside, there's a, like a semicircle. That's where this semicircle is going to fit into. Kind of see how they're both half circles. So you're going to go ahead and place that in here. Make sure that you're being careful because this is the, the carving end of the blade. So you're gonna squeeze that in there, just like that. And then as long as you have it pushed all the way in, you can go ahead and spin that back on so it's nice and tight. Make sure this is actually tightened up because you don't want that falling out right as you're in the middle of carving something, all right? So there are lots of different options. This is good for a wide section that you need to carve away or a large area that you don't need to be printed. I'll show you just a couple other ones. And this one is a number two. So just always make sure that you're putting the correct end in as well. You'll be able to see um, which end is not actually sharp. And then always making sure that you put it in the right direction. Squeeze that in there and then tightening it up. So this one, you can see that it'll be a lot better for smaller details because we've got this um, pointed end. So the part down here is where you would be carving, like this. So always look at the tip before you start carving. Make sure you have the correct one for whatever details. The smaller this bottom section is right here, the smaller the detail is that you're going to be able to carve away. So once you've got your attachment onto your handle, then you can take a bench hook, which is one of these. So it's got uh, two little hooks on either end, and one side is going to hook against the table. Like that. Hook against the table, and the other end is going to kind of act as a buffer that you can push against. Now the most important thing while carving is to never put your hand in front of the blade. You always want to keep it behind the direction that you're going to move the blade, which is why this um, bench hook comes in handy because this kind of acts as another hand that holds your board in place. So always have your hand behind the direction that you're moving and always make sure you're moving slowly and carefully, paying attention to where um, your black imagery is. Whatever is black, you don't carve it away because what is black is what you want to show up black when you go to print. So anything that's um, this light gray, you can go ahead and carve that away. I like to kind of stabilize my tool with my pointer finger. You figure out the best way to grip it. Um, just don't, just make sure that your hand isn't gonna slip. Really, we just wanna avoid all injuries with this. So I'm trying to go as slowly and carefully as you need to. If you're trying to be really precise, you could always stop right here 
back out of that spot, rotate this around, and then go at it from the up opposite angle, and then just kind of pick that piece off. I would play around with some areas that you have really large amounts of white space um, before you start going into those details. So carve away a large area first so you can experiment with different um, carving tips and just so you can get used to using this tool before you have to do small, tiny, important details. So your main things to remember is that make sure you switch out the tip um, depending on what type of line or detail you're going to carve away. Always make sure your hand is behind the direction of the, the carving tool and make sure that you only carve away what's light gray. If it's black, leave it because that's what you want to stay intact for when you print.